US, Canadian, French, and Caribbean envoys were meeting Monday in Jamaica to address the spiraling instability in Haiti, where gang violence has crippled the capital and forced foreign diplomats to evacuate over the weekend. Armed groups, which already control much of Port-au-Prince, as well as roads leading to the rest of the country, have unleashed havoc in recent days as they try to out the Prime Minister Ariel Henry. In power since the 2021 assassination of President Jovenel Moise, Henry has been visiting Kenya in search of support for a UN-backed security support mission when the last burst of violence broke out. Unable to return to Haiti last week, he instead landed in the US territory of Puerto Rico, where he remained on Monday, according to a US official. The CARICOM group of Caribbean nationals has summoned its leaders as well as envoys from the United States, France, Canada and the United Nations to a meeting in Kingston, Jamaica to discuss the crisis. The United States was sending its top diplomat, Secretary of State Antony Blinken, who departed Washington for Kingston early Monday. He was to discuss a proposal developed in partnership with CARICOM and Haitian stakeholders to expedite a political transition in Haiti, the State Department said. Guyanese President Mohamed Irfan Ali, the current CARICOM chair, said that talks to bring stability and normalcy to Haiti were ongoing, but the Haitian stakeholders are not where they need to be. Time is not on their side in agreeing to the way forward. Ali warned in a video on social media. Reporters saw bodies lying in Port-au-Prince streets and some 362,000 Haitians have been displaced from their homes, according to the International Organization for Migration.